I've been working remotely since 2017, early 2018. I just lied. But anyway, I have a lot of thoughts on this topic and maybe even know a thing or two about working from home. So yeah, here are the eight commandments of working remotely. Thou shalt not hold meetings for longer than 30 minutes. Don't get me wrong, I think meetings are important. Some are even essential. I feel like meetings are helpful when you're trying to get everybody on the same page about recurring issues, or you're making important business decisions together. Maybe you're reviewing a contract. Addressing a kink in an existing workflow that is slowing everybody down and keeping the team from delivering work on time. These are all things that call for a general meeting or a meeting with your team. Those meetings can be as long as they need to be, even though I still think we should stick to the 30 minute rule. My point is, unless you're actually meaning to work out a solution to a problem, meetings for the sake of meetings should be illegal. I said it. I'm exaggerating. But honestly, no meeting should be a regular meeting unless there's a clearly defined purpose for said meeting. Some people schedule meetings just so they can feel productive. If you just want to catch up with people, that's fine. Go for it. I like catching up with people too. Occasionally. Jonathan, Karen, go ahead. Engage in your small talk. Just don't call it a meeting. Extroverts, I'm looking at you. All to say, if there is no objective and a Zoom meeting is going on longer than 30 minutes, then it's not really a meeting at that point. It's just a regular conversation, a Skype call. Call it what it is. Can we just talk about Zoom fatigue for a second? Zoom fatigue is a thing. It is backed by scientific evidence. I think I read somewhere that the reason behind Zoom fatigue, or at least one of the reasons, is that when we talk to people face to face, we pick up on the other person's verbal cues as well as their nonverbal cues. You know, things like hand gestures, body language. But when we're on a Zoom call, everyone is limited to this rectangular screen. Therefore, it's harder to absorb information. We have to listen more carefully and concentrate a lot harder to understand what the other person is saying because we can't rely on other things like nonverbal cues. At the end of the day, when you have one hour plus long Zoom meetings, that can really drain you, like fast. So 30 minutes is manageable, it's doable. Let's just try our best to adhere to that gold standard. Commandment number two, thou shalt not schedule meetings throughout the middle of the day. Flow state, ever heard of that? I think Cal Newport called it deep work. Yeah, have you read that book? I haven't either. But I think I get what it's about, you know? You gotta get into the zone to do your best work. And in order to do your best work, you have to minimize distractions. But it's truly impossible to get into said zone when you have three to four meetings scheduled back to back in the middle of the day. You can bet your ass that you're not gonna get any work done. So let's just stop doing this. Commandment number three, thou shalt turn off slack when doing deep work. I really don't think anyone should get any for turning off or snoozing the Slack app when they're doing something important. Um, oh yeah, like work. Slack doesn't need to be on all the freaking time because I think at a certain point, it just decreases your productivity. And I'm all about that productivity. No matter how many times I change my notification bell on Slack, it still gives me anxiety. <laughs> so I've learned to mute non-essential channels and I'm trying to just be okay with turning off Slack when I need to. Commandment number four, thou shalt archive 90% of thou, z thy, thou, thy Slack channels. Just kidding, I can't do this because I'm not the admin of the company Slack workspace. But if you are, I'm telling you, you have the power. You have the power to enact change. I'm talking real change. And you know what they say, with great power 
comes great responsibility, such as archiving Slack channels that should never have been created in the first place. (sighs) That being said, there really shouldn't be a separate Slack channel for sharing links and articles. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I'm talking things like trending news, LOL, funny memes, GIFs, channels like that, because they do exist. True story. I'm already in a family group chat that my dad uses solely to send our family articles that I'm convinced he hasn't read himself. (sighs) I'm sorry, dad. You have many wonderful qualities, but Kakao Talk group chats with the family is not one of them. So back to my point. I don't need another spammy news source, and I certainly don't need it for work. Commandment number five, thou shalt realize that systems are important. To an extent, I am all about systems. Trust me. I'm making this video because I love productivity, but I don't think systems are so important that you're spending the majority of your day organizing, reorganizing, and categorizing tasks and subtasks and asana. There's this great quote out there and it goes like this. Over planning is a form of procrastination. I don't remember who said that, but it's a great quote and you should drill that into your head. Commandment number six. Thou shalt be considerate of time zones. If you have a team that is spread across different time zones, let's remember, just just take a second, take a step back to remember that we are all human beings. We all eat and sleep. We all have daily routines or aspire to have daily routines. Let's just be mindful of deliverables and getting things done for teammates who are are further down the chain of work so that they're not the ones who have to work during the weekends. Which brings me to my next point. Commandment number seven, weekends. People need time to decompress. I know I do. We need to have time for life outside of work. That way we can return to work as more productive, energized creatures not hungover zombies. I, I, I don't drink. Just because we are all now constantly available online and on our computers, on our phones, does not mean that we should be working 24 seven. Does not mean that anyone is obligated to work 24 seven and respond to you immediately. Last but not least, 90% of the time, nothing. And I repeat, nothing needs to be done ASAP. This goes for most non-essential jobs out there, whether it's remote or not. At the end of the day though, I think we must all realize that we are not manufacturing N95 masks. We are not supplying them to hospitals in need. We're not frontline health workers doing things that are actually saving lives. It's good to really just humble yourself sometimes and realize that. So next time somebody asks you to do something ASAP, really think about it for a second. Just, you know, just think about it and ask yourself, really? Does it, does it need to be done right this minute? And then get fired immediately afterwards. Bonus commandment, clean up your room before you hop on a Zoom call or record a vlog. This video was a hot mess, I fully admit that. But the good news is, My rant has officially come to an end, and alas, I must return to work. If you like this video, could somehow relate, or you think I'm missing a commandment, please share your thoughts in the empty comment section below. Thanks for watching, hope you have a zoomless day, and please, please, subscribe. Or not. Bye!